Well, hello guys. Welcome back. This is Trevor and we are in the Let's Play. And like I said last episode, I was going to finish this before I came back. So yeah, there we go. That took me a couple of days to get done. Mostly just because I didn't have the time to play on the world, but yeah. And also I had to get all these different dyes and uh, so annoyingly horrible. But now, I can just run around and uh, shear all of the different colored wool and sheep. I also found out that this side over here is like a few blocks right there is the grass. I am on the side of the volcano here, so I'm probably going to make this an exit out onto the terracing that's going to be going around the uh, volcano. That will probably happen. And then this one I'm going to possibly try to like turn. Also, the quartz. I had to go to the nether and get a lot of qu more quartz. Because I ran out. And I really like how the quartz can go with like all the different colors since it's just a white. Even the white kind of looks with good with it since it's different, I think. And like I'm still a bit iffy on these like teeth design. But it's starting to grow on me after looking at it for this long. And I don't think it's going to change much after this. I still have a bit of designing to do. Like, I need to fill in these with the... I, I did it over there. I'll show you in a second. So, yeah. That's the sheep farm. Don't have very much here, but I have been shearing. Yeah. That's the most I have right now of one color. <laughs> also, I started to design like this to see what it's going to look like above me. Because this is all going to go open up. Probably another floor up. This will go down a floor for the storage. And I might put some sort of stairway right in the middle. My game is a little laggy. I've been on a while probably is the problem. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do here, I think. Like each color with andesite. So yeah, this side is pretty much done. And I like that. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's this whole thing. Um... I, I couldn't think of a really good name for it, so I'm just going to call it this, the Rainbow Wool Room. So, yeah, that's all. Sorry, guys. If one of y'all has a better name, we'll, we'll call it that. So, if you got one, put it down in the comments, and we'll see if somebody can come up with a really good one. Because I don't want to just, like, be... Uh, I don't want to call it, like, Project Rainbow or something, like I said, because that's what Sardalis called his. I think Etho calls his, was it Pokemon? Or I think that was the Villager project he had. I don't remember what he called his uh, sheep thing when he was getting them all, but he has them all. So, yeah, I can just sit here, run around, and get colored wool now. And I put this little thing in. Yeah, I don't think I need the button. Yeah, I don't. Oh, and I can finally take this ugly little wall down. I've had to have this thing up for so long to keep in the sheet. And I had to set my wolf down so he wouldn't try to kill them every time I accidentally punched them. Plus, he tried to kill himself by uh, jumping into the caldera. Plus, I have a couple chests over there I need to clean up. Ugh. Also, I did notice something. So I went down to, like, the bottom of my world. I needed to get some... Look for something in the chest. And there are, like, a couple thousand chickens just spread across everywhere down there. Beneath me. I'm like, what happened? I really have no idea. Like, I don't know if somehow they glitched from the chicken thingy because that's what I'm guessing but I really don't know how they would have done that and went down like 60 blocks over there-ish but yeah it's weird so yeah I kind of got very frustrated with building this thing because it was taking so long and the sheep were annoying me so I kind of uh, went on to it I copied the world into creative and uh, decided to just blow up everything just because I wanted to then I went off and started exploring. I figured if I'm going to do all this with time wasting, I might as well make it useful. So I started to uh, look for some things 
that we need in this world really badly. And I managed to find something that is extremely important to me. Something I need to actually finish Project Caldera, because uh, I'll give you a hint. It's one of the main building things, and we're pretty much out of them again. That's why I haven't really worked on it. If you guessed it, it's bone blocks. That's right. I found spawners. And yeah, I will take you over there right now. So, yeah. See you in a second. Guys, do you know what that is? Yes, it is a skeleton spawner. And there are the coordinates of it. If you, uh, when I eventually have a download out for this world and all, or if you just have it, this is where a skeleton spawner is. And I've also located a zombie spawner and a spider spawner that are, are closer towards the base. Because, yeah, the base is, like, very far that way. Yeah, so I was having a bit of fun. I made a creative world copy of this, and I was just blowing up everything. And I happened to find this, recorded the coordinates, and came back to survival on this world. And, yeah, now I have this beautiful... So, oh, my goodness. Most of it's junk. Probably should have emptied my inventory better. I kind of just came over here. But, yeah. why do I have a boat? I don't remember... Oh, yeah, I made that for a... Uh... Oh, yeah, I found something weird coming over here. There are a couple of guardians sitting at the bottom of the ocean without a temple anywhere around them. Um, it made no sense to me. At all. But, yeah. That happened. Okay, so now we have a skeleton spawner. And I am going to turn this into some sort of super experience farm, which will be awesome because I will be able to harvest bone blocks easily then and, you know, get experience. So, yeah, but I probably won't do much of that on camera, build the whole thing off camera and then show you what it looks like afterwards when I activate it because, you know, making a mob spawner is boring. But, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all see this and see what was in the chest for the first time. It's beautiful, isn't it? And also, if y'all want the uh, coordinates for the other two spawners I found while looking for this, see, there is a zombie spawner at these coordinates and a spider one, which was the first one I found. It's actually connected to that uh, giant tunnel that my, me and my brother dug getting back home that one day. There's a spider one that's in the ravine that we one of the ravines we found at those coordinates. Have yet to find a mine shaft though. So, no cave spiders yet. But yeah, that was awesome. So yeah, this will soon become a, a farm. I'm, I kind of wish it was closer, but uh, I can't really change that. And you can't, like, dig it with a silk touch, unfortunately. I wish. I think you could at one point in time, but now you can't, so. Yeah. I will I'll see you guys in a moment. You can't hit me? Nah, not at all. So yeah, guys, I finished digging this whole thing out, and I started it. Now I'm sealing it off, never to look at that side of it again. I oh, forget it. Yeah. Lock this room in so I don't have to worry about other mobs. Make sure it's lit up really well. And this is my way back out of here. Probably should put a door on that. I'll do it later. But yeah, one punch kill skeletons. Yeah, and I went ahead and decorated a little. Went back, grabbed some like concrete, put back there. Yeah, don't have to do that though. This. Oh, if I really need to just kill them all? <laughs> Go ahead. 
kill each other. It's kind of funny. But yeah, I've got me a working skeleton thingy. It's great. Which it also, yeah, if you notice, I kind of died. <laughs> so I would probably put some sort of enchantment table right over here in the corner. But yeah, I got a skeleton farm. By the way, if you notice my coordinates, to get to this place, I have to walk all the way down the tunnel me and my brother dug, all the way to the very beginning of it, and then walk down another long tunnel. Another 300 blocks, so it's like, why? Bam. Gonna make good bows for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Oh look, they're all dead. I had to like completely redo the whole design a while ago. I had them closer to it and apparently it could still sense them. Yeah, I apparently I got my uh, numbers just a tiny bit off. So yeah, I had to move the whole thing forward a few blocks and now it's out of range and as you saw it builds them up, which is awesome for me. Because I can get so much stuff from this one little spawner. Which is what I came here for. I need to be able to get... Hmm? Oh wait, I need one arrow. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to have so many bone blocks from this. So yeah, I might decorate this up a little later. Probably not very much. I mean, it's just going to be an enchanting table and I might put like an ender chest. So I can easily get the books back over there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, I found three emeralds while digging out this giant hole back here. That was pretty fun. Oh, I should have put some like redstone so I could turn the thing off. That would have been smart. I guess it doesn't matter as long as you walk, if you go like, so. I think it's 16 blocks away from a spawner, it just stops working. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But yeah, that's my new skeleton farm. Bloop. So, I, I don't know what else to do. This might be a really short episode today. Because, yeah, that was pretty much all I had planned. And there was like a cave all through here, so... I don't like creepers and stuff sneaking up on me, so I've tried to close all of it off if I can. This is my nice little skeleton spawner. I'm probably going to sit here for a while and try to get a bunch of levels... And then I'll head back and I'll do something I haven't really done with all of you. I will enchant a book on camera. Or maybe a few of them. So y'all can see how lucky or unlucky I am. Yeah. See you in a minute. Look at all of them skeletons. And yes, that one has armor on. So just so y'all know, I've decided to permanently turn my difficulty up to normal for now. I will eventually turn it to hard mode. Also, if you notice, I, uh, I've i been upgrading this since I've been sitting here so long. Went back and uh, got some st a bunch of stuff to enhance. Been enchanting some books. This was the only book I found that so far that was of any real worth. Mainly just the Depth Strider or the Respiration. I, I really wish these weren't on the same book. I need both of those. Like, so bad. It's, it's just sad. But yeah. Oh, and I brought... I made some Splash Potions. Like, three of them. And yeah. I have been sitting here for quite some time. So, yeah. I also healed all my <laughs> mending tools. Yeah, let's do this. Whoa. What? Oh, come on. 
Can't level me up farther. <laughs> Only one piece of armor, really. I was expecting way more. Hmm. So, yeah. I wish you could just, like, put a ton of them all together, but it won't let you do that. Like, why not? If I put two enchanted, no. See, that is something I want to wait. Punch one and power two. Punch one, power two. What happens if I put them in the uh, anvil? Oh, wow. No. Well, I guess I just did it. Oops. Unbreaking 2, Punch 2, Power 3. Dang it, you can't, like, just see what it is. It just made me buy it. I didn't want to buy it. Dang it. Oh, well. They need to fix that. Like, in the on the PC, you can just, like, slide your mouse over it. You can't do that here. Because there isn't a mouse. You don't get that chance. They didn't get very many arrows. That's odd. They gave like one arrow? That's very odd. Well, I guess I'm going to have to sit here again because I accidentally just did that. When I go for the next book enchant, we'll do it together and see if I get anything good out of it. See you in a second. Fire Aspect 2. Yeah. Knockback 2. Well, there's, that's something good for a sword if I ever lose one. Feather Falling. F Ooh. Just Feather Falling. Yeah. <laughs> See? Okay, so that's somewhat good, and that one's a sword. But, like, just look at some of the other stuff I get. Like, like some of them, I guess, could be combined to be somewhat good, but, like, that one's actually not that bad, I guess. I'll put it down here. Respiration 3. Oh, I didn't notice that. I looked at the smite. But, yeah, most of them aren't very good. Like you. Oh, there's another one. Dang, I, I was paying attention, apparently. Ooh, thorns. That's a good one to have on armor. But, yeah. I'm, uh, it's really hard to get mending, I found. I was lucky to get the two like this. Like, I enchanted one of these. I can't remember which one. And actually had it on it. Got a book. And then much later, I got another book and put it on this. I need to put one on this sword. But it might not be able to hold it. I hope it can. That, that would suck if it couldn't. But, yeah. And I need it on this. And then it would be the... Also, I need a name for these two. If y'all have any good names, I'm accepting for the bow and the sword. Yeah. I'm gonna fill this chest up with bones and then make it all bone block and take it home with me. Woo! Oh, I put my music disc in here. I can't hear it. The recording makes all of my sound go really quiet. But I guess y'all can hear whichever one that is. I don't know which disc it is. I hope it's not the creepy one. I think that's the broken one. Well... Yeah, I guess that's all we've done today, guys. We built the, uh, I finished the sheep farm and I built this skeleton farm, which I will probably spend a lot of time at, because this would be so much easier to repair my tools. Because, like, before I would either have to, like, 
mine certain blocks that gave a lot, like diamonds and stuff, or quartz and all that, or just go kill mobs and like swap tools over and over, and that took so long, and you didn't get hardly anything out of it, whereas this, so much easier. So yeah, I will be using this thing a lot. I don't care if I have to walk thousands of blocks to get here. I wish it was closer, but oh well. I could always just put a portal in, I guess. Nope, no obsidian in there. Oh well. I'll do it next time. Connect up a portal, because I know there's no way it's going to connect to the other one. After 1,500 blocks. But yeah. I will see you all in the next episode, I guess. Um, where we will... I don't know what we'll be doing yet. We'll, we'll think of something. But yeah. Take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.